Cut Master Spaz, producer, co-host of This and That, founder and owner of D&D Media, disc jockey on 93.9 Jams, entrepreneur, father, and husband. Yes, he wears many hats, and he's mixed and mingled his way into local viewers and clubgoers' hearts since the early 90s. He's accomplished almost every goal he's ever set for himself, but his road to success hasn't been an easy one. He's faced many obstacles to get where he is today. Raised and born and raised on the winter side, Kaneohe, K-Town. <laughs> um, I, growing up, I was uh, pretty normal, going to school with everybody into about second grade, and then um, I, they found that I had a learning disability, so I started falling behind in class, and, and I had a hard time keeping up, so they did some tests, and at that time, they found that I was, had a learning disability. They didn't have the direct names. Uh, later, they found out that I, I was dyslexic. I mean, I see words and backwards. I'm having a hard time spelling words. Um, I also had speech problems because my brain couldn't process the words I wanted to say fast enough, so I would stutter and mumble. Um, so I had a speech problem. I also was very clumsy, and they found that I had a physical uh, problems, like learning my left and my right. Um, and then also I had ADHD, which is Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder, um, which is I can't control, I'm impulsive, hyper, I always gotta talk, I, I, I always gotta be moving and fidgeting. So I had these obstacles and they put me in special ed. Cutmaster Spaz didn't let his learning disability stop him. Rather than giving up, he made a conscious decision to take his life into his own hands. For my uh, 12th birthday, I asked my dad if he would buy me a turntable, and with the birthday money I got, um, I had uh, bought myself another turntable uh, and from Radio Shack, so I had these two turntables. But in high school, like I said, I, I just focused on, on DJing. Um, I always had the entrepreneur type vibe, I guess I didn't even know what that word was or what the definition of it was, but from 10 years old, I delivered newspaper, saved all my money. When I was old enough to work, I washed dishes at Zippy's at 15, and then on the, in, during summer, I would uh, work for a vacuuming company. We vacuumed um, uh, different houses, steam clean houses, and I saved all my money, and by 16 years old, I saved up a lot of, m of my money to start my own business. During his teen years, he continued to fight to keep his dream alive, even though many around him told him to give up and that he would never make it. DJing wasn't really something that was popular in, in high school. It was like you either played sports, uh, modeled, or you danced hula, and I did none of that, you know what I mean? Even my mom was just like worried I wasn't gonna graduate high school, so when I told her I was gonna be a DJ, knowing that DJing you have to be able to speak, you have to be able to be coordinated to do more things than, than one at a time. She just couldn't see that. A lot of people couldn't see that. So I had a lot of people who just wanted me to just do something normal or the regular norm, work at a fast food place or enter the military um, because of, of they just thought I had the obstacles. But I really believed in myself that I, I was destined to not just do that. Even his name, Cutmaster Spaz, was chosen as a way for him to overcome the negativity that he faced. Spaz is a negative name. It was one of the tease names that a, a kid used to tease me. Oh, you're such a spaz. Oh, you spaz, 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 mental spaz. So I took the name and used it as my entertainment name to turn a negative into a positive. So that's why I used spaz because it was a tease name and I wanted to use it to always remind me that no matter how successful I get, no matter how high I get in my career, that I always stay grounded and remember where I came from. Looking back at his youth, Cutmaster Spaz is especially proud that he didn't allow himself to become a statistic. In our special ed class, when I first entered special ed, there was about seven of us in one class. And out of the seven of, of us, I'm the only one that has never been arrested um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to jail, um, I, I don't do drugs, never did drugs, and I, I, I'm not on the system, I'm not you know, homeless, I'm very blessed. Nowadays he volunteers his time to support organizations he believes in. It is important to always give back and, and 
because you know without your community and family you really don't have anything so I volunteer my time with a lot of people in fact my wife always say 80% volunteer 20% work I mean 20% getting paid 80% giving back but I mean I'm just such a strong believer yeah I do a, a lot and even my own programs I, I even create my own programs I, I do um, to get a tournament and free concert and stuff like that just trying to give things for the community to do that's positive I have been fortunate to be awarded you know certain awards I got the um, um, Kilohana award which is uh, given by the governor governor's volunteer award I've also been recognized with the Olopono award um, for the drug free um, schools uh, recently I got recognized as uh, I guess a community member from the mayor. The list goes on, but I don't want to sit there and give my roster of awards. It's not about me, it's about giving back. Yeah. Although he has very little spare time, when he's not working or volunteering, you'll find him hanging out with his family. I have uh, beautiful kids. I have uh, my son who is six years old, Jojo, who's a daredevil. Um, and then there's Jazlyn, who is, um, uh, Jazlyn is 11 years old, and she's like, my tomboy sports athlete. And then there's uh, my 19 year old. Yeah, that's right, I have a 19 year old. <laughs> Victoria, who um, is my girly girl. My wife is Patty and she does real estate. One of Cutmaster Spaz's hidden talents, which his family enjoys daily, is his ability to cook. I love to cook and I'm actually pretty good. Um, if a lot of people remember I was a little fluffy before, it's because I love to cook and not only eat, but cook too. So a lot of people don't realize, but I do, I would have to say 90% or maybe even 99% of the cooking in our house. My secret dream is to eventually put out a Cutmaster cookbook of all my recipes that I have uh, either perfected or created or friends have given to, to me that, that I have you know, done over the years. I'd have to say my fried rice is, is one of my, my specialties that I, I love making and creating. And then my adobo too, my chicken adobo. No doubt we'll be seeing that cookbook in bookshops one of these days. But for now, Cutmaster Spaz continues to focus on his show, This and That, and his production company. I'm so blessed to be a part of the OC16 family. And it opened a lot of doors in getting me a lot of more opportunities. I was forced to learn a lot of, of different things that I didn't think I ever had to know, like TV production, marketing, um, and, I, and that's how I started dissing that media, because of OC16. It has brought a better life to my family. Being on OC16, you know, my positive message, I can in affect more, and, and through TV, not just radio, or not just a print ad, but being able to be a positive influence in people's life and coming to their living rooms every night. I'm just very blessed to be a part of the OC16 family. Tune in and watch Cutmaster Spaz on This and That, exclusively on Oceanic Time Warner OC16. Log on to OC16.tv to get a current list of showtimes or to watch back episodes of the program.